I was attorney Griggs, a justice fighter, and um, wow, the legislative session is definitely something that you guys got to stay uh, tuned to about all the things that are happening in real time. And I told you guys that I was going to make sure that I kept everybody updated on what was happening uh, and the developments in many of these bills, especially the, the anti-voting bills. And so currently, I've spoken to a few elected officials and there are 76 bills that are currently pending. Um, and I have information on 51 of those bills. And I wanted to kind of go through some of the bills so you can know what's happening in real time and then give you some pointers on how we can help our elected officials push back on this. And to give you some context and some background, of course, with the um, record turnout in the 2020 elections and then, of course, the 2021 uh, runoff, we have a lot of individuals under the guise of of uh, election security and election protection that are filing these bills. And so they are ranking them according to imp importance. And so let's start with Senate Bill uh, 69. Senate Bill 69 uh, would be an automatic a repeal of automatic voter registration. And as you know, uh, Georgia is a motor voter state, so you can automatically register when um, you get your driver's license. So it's automatic. So they're trying to repeal that. That's currently in the Senate first read. Um, repeal of no excuse and requires proof from doctor, a priest, or supervisor. That's Senate Bill 177. So that would repeal no excuse voting. Um, and require you to have proof from your doctor, your priest, your supervisor, etc. Um, then there's Senate Bill 71, which is a complete repeal of uh, no excuse vote by mail. So they're trying to, uh, one bill um, limit it, and the other bill completely uh, remove vote by mail. Then Senate Bill 29 uh, is an absentee uh, voter uh, photo ID required twice, currently to get an absentee ballot. Uh, you only need to show your, your your ID one time. This is trying to get it to where it's twice. Um, then there's Senate Bill 175, require photo ID on vote by mail applications for all non um, all non O U C A V A voters. Uh, that's Senate Bill 175. Then Senate Bill 202 restricts sending um, applications and sanctions violators. Uh, for sending applications for list maintenance to let people know that they're going to be removed from the list. So that would punish people for contacting folks to let them know that they're in danger of being purged from the rolls. Um, then it would be uh, kill third party vote by mail applications, meaning other people who would apply to get vote by mail and then give the applications to the voters. And then Senate Bill 68, the ban drop boxes. And you know how successful the drop boxes were. Uh, Senate Bill 93 would ban adding mobile voting sites. Remember the, the buses that they had, the mobile voting buses? They want to ban the voter, mo, mobile uh, voting buses. Then um, significant expansion, uh, significant expand voter challenge law. So now they're trying to expand the ability to challenge certain voters uh, under legislation. That's Senate Bill 192. Then Senate Bill 89 would be to create a elections chief assistance officer, so an uh, elected officer similar to um, the Opportunity School Zones, where they tried to create a, a state office to, to manage that. That's Senate Bill 89. Then Senate Bill 176 is to set imprisonment of 10 to 25 years if you cause votes to be displayed incorrectly. So that expands the punishment uh, for any type of uh, voter um, manipulation. Then there's Senate Bill 141, which would be 24-7 counting of ballots after polls close. So that would increase the amount of time you can count ballots after polls close. Uh, Senate Bill 188, counties must submit all absentee ballots received into reporting system by the end of the day on Election Day. So that means they got to get them in by the end of the day on Election Day. And we all know that certain counties have such large popul voting populations that that would be uh, unfeasible. Um, then Senate Bill 178 bans the Secretary of State and counties from sending absentee ballots without a request. So in order to limit the expansion of voting, we can't send absentee ballots unless people request them. Then um, Senate Bill 62, create um, 
a rollover list list maintenance and adds a vote by mail chain of custody. So now we doing more voting purges and more list maintenance. Uh, that would be Senate Bill uh, 62, Senate Bill 72. Monthly monthly list maintenance for dead voter removal. So we got monthly purges uh, for dead voters. Now we're all in favor of removing dead voters from the um, the list, but many times they were erroneously remove people. And here they would have a monthly removal of dead dead voters. Um, Senate Bill 70 bans voting out of state in general and in state for runoff. So that way, hold on. Now. People who are not in the state, okay. who are residents of Georgia, maybe that's military or that's other individuals, would be banned from voting. That's Senate Bill 70. Senate Bill um, 100 creates a statewide grand jury to overturn elections and hear other elections cases. Now, why are we creating a statewide grand jury to overturn elections? Elections are handled at the county level and should be resolved at the county level. There's no need to do it at a statewide level. Uh, Senate Bill 74, expand poll watcher access. I kind of actually agree with this one. We do need more poll watchers to make sure no funny business is happening. But again, the reason they're doing this is to make sure that they can suppress the vote and intimidate individuals. So those are all the Senate bills. There are 22 Senate bills that are currently under consideration. The House bills, um, the House bill omnibus anti-voting bill, which is House Bill 531, is currently uh, up for consideration tomorrow for a hearing. Um, so... We got to look out, watch out for Senate Bill, I'm sorry, House Bill 531, which is in first read right now. And it kind of includes all of these measures that I'm talking about into one omnibus bill. And so they're having hearings on that. I think one of the hearings starts today at three o'clock. Um, it's got all of this stuff in it. It's just combining all these things. Then there's House Bill 366, which is the automatic repeal of automatic voter registration. And many of these bills in the House and the Senate are mirrors of each other. So if one passes and goes over to the other other um, body, they can pass it. So we got to keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, so that's House Bill uh, 366. House Bill 325 is the repeal of no excuse vote by mail, the House version. Um, then there's House Bill 267, which would ban uh, vote by mail until the voter has voted in person once. So wait a minute now. They want to ban in-person voting um, unless the person has voted in person once. What about the people that are con still concerned about coronavirus or that have some sort of uh, issue where they can't vote in person? Many people work. It's a lot easier to vote by mail. They're trying to ban that unless you vote in person at least once. Um, House Bill 4, 494. Hold up. House Bill 494 requires photocopied ID for all uh, voters vote by mail. So that means you got a photocopy ID. And for our brothers and sisters that are um, financially insecure, they might not be able to afford a copy machine or to be able to go to a copy machine. So that's more voter suppression. Uh, of course, cut, cutting the hours. This is House Bill 512. Cutting the hours uh, vote of two weekends. So no more um, Saturday and Sunday voting. Cut it down by two weekends and cut the early vote hours. Uh, House Bill uh, 270, um, applications must be returned uh, for voting early ballots 10 days before the election. Uh, House Bill 227 requires vote by mail, photo ID, and third party disclaimers, so more requirements on the voter identification for vote by mail. Uh, House Bill uh, 59 was a substitute to cut off the runoff from nine weeks to four weeks so instead of nine weeks in between runoffs it'd be four weeks so it'd be closer um house bill 406 partisan audit elections absentee ballots and voter registration so they want to have a, a partisan audit of elections absentee ballots and voter registrations um house bill 250 stop new uh electronic voting sites added within 60 days of the election so again no more voter registration or voting sites within 60 days of the election. Uh, House Bill 62, which bans uh, grant money to counties for independent individuals to come in um, to assist in making sure the vote gets out. Um, House Bill 493 allow uh, 
a takeover of all uh, local elections by a, a, a statewide entity. Um, local Bill 162 is a Morgan County Board of Education takeover bill. You need to be aware of that in Morgan County. In Carroll County, it's a similar uh, local Board of Education takeover bill. And then House Bill uh, 492 replaces the Secretary of State with a, a state election board with the governor appointee and the state election board oversight of the Secretary of State. So again, removing it from an independent body, which is Secretary of State, and now putting it in the governor's office to have a state board of elections person who's who uh, oversees uh, the elections. Uh, House Bill 461 limit who can count ballots and greatly expand monitor access. So uh, dealing with the vote curing uh, situation and who can monitor that. House Bill 537 requires quarterly purges or subject board of um, the board of registration to remove the board of education, the board of elections uh, to a statewide. So again, more statewide oversight um, within the local co county board of elections uh, and a statewide takeover. Um, House Bill 228, Scarlet Letter Bill, would create a non-citizen's driver's license to restrict required voting ID options. So you wouldn't be able to use your um, regular driver's license. You'd have a non-citizen's license, uh, which would basically show that you are not a citizen. Uh, so that's the Scarlet Letter Bill. Um, House Bill 373, which is monthly list maintenance again for dead uh, for for dead voter removal. So we'd have monthly list maintenance, monthly uh, voting purges, and that's still in first read. Uh, and then there's a probate judge acting as the election superintendent. That's House Bill 136. Um, and then there's House Bill 65, which would move the uh, board of Edu the board of elections filing deadlines. Uh, House Bill 3. Uh, 26 get rid of wireless technology in voting machines again you just can't make this stuff up um, then the house bill 365 prevent old apps from being used to request um, ballots uh, house bill 501 which recounts making hand recounts and denying official ballot makes all recounts hand recounts which means it's going to be more more costly so there are 51 current 51 anti-voting bills everything from re re reducing the number of, of weekends for early vote to ending sunday voting to making sure you have to have two forms of id to even get a, a mail a vote by mail request and also to outright ban vote by mail these are all the things and ban the drop boxes these are all the things that are happening currently in um, the Georgia legislature to make it more difficult to vote. And it's important that you know this is going on. It's important that you know that you need to contact your elected officials and tell them to vote no on all these bad voting bills and tell them that they need to get to work on expanding the access so more people can vote. And they are planning um, protests, they're planning actions, and they're also planning information to get out. Um, Fair Fight is going to be doing town halls tomorrow. Fair Fight is doing a town hall tomorrow. It's a there is a virtual um, voter suppression march, which will happen on the 27th. Stay updated for that. I'll put the flyer out for that so you can register for that. And we got to contact our elected officials. Call, call, call. Email, email, email. Make sure you're signed up with the NAACP so you can get the information as far as the mailing um, uh, addresses and the email addresses so we can push back on this and make sure our elected officials know that we want more access to the franchise and not less. So I'm going to continue to bring you this information. Again, there are currently 51 bills uh, that deal with some form of voter suppression or regressive voter policy that you need to be aware of. This is all because of the historic turnout we had in the 2020 election, the 2021 runoff, and we have to protect our, our uh, ability to vote and our access to the franchise. I will continue to bring you this information, but I need you to do me a favor. I need you to call, call, call. I need you to email, email, email. But I also need you to share this video because these platforms are how we get this information out. The news is not going to tell you the intricate details of every of all 51 bills. I went through a majority of all 51 bills, and as I get the information, I will provide it to you so that you can be an informed voter and know what's happening in real time. 
That's why it's important to share this information so that your family and friends know what's happening here in Georgia in real time and we can make sure that we protect our access to the franchise and our ability um, to move this state forward in a progressive manner. This is Attorney Gerald Griggs, Justice Fighter, and I will see you at the next update.